What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Project Audi Quattro in here. We have a couple maintenance items that need to get taken care of. Uh, last year when we went to park it, the uh, shifter got really loose, so we have this 034 not sponsored uh, shift linkage bushing. And then the infamous throttle cable bushing failed. A uh, very common issue on these old Audis. The throttle cable just basically sits right in that hole and if the bushing deteriorates and falls apart then the throttle cable falls out and you have a gas pedal that does nothing. So we'll get those couple bushings uh, popped in, take you along for the ride, and then maybe take this guy out for a spin. So I guess we're going to start with the hard one first. We'll do a little before with the shifter. That's actually in gear. So it's ridiculously sloppy. So that's neutral, but yeah, get the car up in the air now and uh, get that swapped out. All right, so I got the shift linkage out. That was uh, pretty fun. You have a ball and socket on the back here, which is the uh, stabilizer rod that goes across. That's where the new bushing goes. And then there's a pinch bolt back here, which is super fun. Uh, on these old Audis, they like to put these weird things that hold the bolt in place, supposedly, but once it's old and corroded, um, it pretty much just pushes that out of the way and spins, and then you can't get a socket on it or a wrench, really, because of where it is, so uh, I will probably just remove that on the way out. I ran into this once before on something else. They're not really fun, so I'll probably just remove that and then... You know, this this basically slides into the shift linkage coming down from the console of the car. And then, you know, it's just a pinch style. So yeah, probably not going to reuse that clamp there on the end that is supposed to hold the bolt. It's just a pain in the butt. And then uh, it makes it so you can't really get a wrench on there. So uh, I'll probably just take that out and that way I can at least hold the top of the bolt while I tighten the bottom nut with a wrench. So, now to get the uh, old bushing out, there's a washer in there that is held down, as you can see, by the metal being bent over the top of it. So we're going to have to unbend that, take the washer out, and then we can get the remainder of the old bushing out of there. Alright, so I just took these uh, pliers here and basically bent those three tabs out of the way. And then there's a washer right there, so... See if we can uh, start to pry this thing out of here. So there you have it. Little washer basically holds the uh, bushing, if it will ever focus, the bushing right there from falling out of the top once it gets pinched. So now we're just going to take some pliers again and uh, knock the rest of this old crappy bushing out of here. All right, so there's what's left of the old one next to the new one. There's the uh, 034 part number. The factory Audi piece is no longer available, so this is an exact copy of the original piece. Uh, I've read some good things, read some bad things, so we'll see how it goes. Um, it was a $25 part, so not the end of the world, not the cheapest thing for a little chunk of urethane, but whatever. Uh, the only thing to keep in mind, when you want to grease these, when you put them in, you want to use a lithium-based grease, so I have some extra energy suspension. Uh, bushing grease from a bushing kit so that will work perfect with this so the uh, new bushing is going to go in there we're going to grease it up with the energy suspension lithium grease and pop it all back in all right so i got that stupid thing out of there got just the uh, nut and the bolt on there now as you can see we got the new bushing in got the ends all pinched in holding the washer down greased up that end there and uh, 
We'll grease up the inside of the bushing when we get it out of the vise here and then slap it back in the car. All right, so we got it back in, got it tightened up. Now you can see pretty much a normal amount of play there. So job well done. And we can now move on to the throttle pedal bushing, which is obviously at the top of the gas pedal up there. So it's gonna be tight. I don't know how much I can uh, get in there with the camera, but hopefully I can show you a little bit of what I did and uh, how we're gonna fix it. All right guys, so what you're seeing up there is the top of the gas pedal. Um, underneath the dash and you can see I zip tied the actual throttle cable to the gas pedal so we're gonna cut that zip tie off and then put the proper bushing in if you ever find yourself stuck with the bushing fall out somewhere out like on the side of the road or whatever you can just grab a zip tie and zip tie it in so here's the new bushing uh, basically the top of the gas pedal is just a loop so we're gonna push the, uh, we're gonna cut the zip tie, get rid of that, and then just push this in the loop, and then push the throttle cable into that center hole there. And then that'll be done, so not too bad. All right, as you can kinda see up there, we got the new bushing in and the throttle cable hooked up. So it was a little bit of a struggle, just a really super awkward position, but Got it in there, so that's good to go now. So we got a couple uh, issues fixed on the old Audi. So we're gonna get this guy washed up. It's been sitting for uh, all winter. So I wanted to knock these couple little things out. So we're gonna get it washed up and then take it for a ride. this one up uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, we'll be working on this thing from time to time so uh, if you like the uh, old Audi Quattro Coupe then don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one